Sorry, I've been gone for so long. Uh, tonight's drink of choice is root beer and rum again. I'm uh, still not completely sure if I really, really like it or not, but it's sweet and it tastes good. So, so far I'm enjoying it. Um, so I lost my last episode. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it I forgot to upload it to YouTube. It was me defeating Piers and the Dark Gym uh, in Spike Muth. Uh, so I'm really sorry about that. But uh, anyway, how you doing? Uh, another thing I did that episode is I finally caught the Dublade that had been taunting me uh, because it was I knew it was too high level over in one area of the wild area. But I caught him. <clears throat> and uh, also, I'm going to use this dust stone that I have to evolve it. Thumbs up. I've been waiting to use this Pokemon for a while. Right. Gets the ability to learn to move King's Shield, which is a really cool move, which I will go ahead and teach her. Uh, so I don't really need Power Trick, um, <clears throat> because King's Shield basically already does that for you. But I'm going to do some more move fuckery around my team right now. Also, I'm going to show you guys who I'm planning on carrying all the way through the rest of the game. I guess also this means I actually also lost... I lost the video... No, I I, I may just have this confused. I think I've got... I've got peer, the video of my win against Pierce on YouTube. Uh, I think I do have that one, but I now don't have the one where I beat Raihan. <coughs> Which is not so great, um, but anyway, let's do some. Uh, let's do some. Well, first of all, I'm going to give him a, a, care, a held item uh, because I should give him a held item. I keep saying he, but it's a girl. Um, oh my gosh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. It's been too long since I actually played the game. I guess a muscle belt is fine. And giving one to Real Boom 2 is probably also fine. Okay. So, uh, I need to adjust the bar at the bottom uh, with the team that I've actually got. Because uh, this is the team that I sort of plan on carrying the rest of the way. Uh, so, let me open up my stream setup thing, my Bob. And uh, make a few alterations here. Let me open up my thumbnails folder. All right. So add Aegislash. Slash. We're not bringing Azumarill or Gardevoir or Beware. Actually, I think I'll swap out Beware for Heracross. Less uh, grinding there, so. <clears throat> that means I just need to grab the Aegislash, who I already have. I'll put her in here. And then also, I'm carrying Willaboom with me. Because uh, it's good to have your starter. And a pair of uh, watery, icy... Evolutions. All right. Let's uh, get remove Heracross. We're gonna go ahead and 
take Bewir, since Bewir is just pretty strong. It's a little bit less farming for, uh, uh, for Heracross, so let's take the held item. And then we'll go back over here. We'll give Buir a held item. I wish I had leftovers, so that would be a good item for him. Uh, probably Assault Vest, actually. That's a uh, bonus special defense. So, it'll make uh, Buir pretty good against any special attackers we come across. Let me put a message on my Discord here. Cross promo over here as well. All right, cool. Hey, Nilla, how's it going? All right. So I need to level up my uh, Rillaboom a little bit as well. Uh, but first, let's do some fuckery with TMs uh, because I need to uh, expand my moves repertoire here for some Pokemon that are still out there. Uh, for example, Rock Slide is something that needs to go on a couple of different people. Uh, definitely don't need baby doll eyes. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to put Rock Slide on Aegislash, though. Let's see what else we got here. Vaporeon, uh, Vaporeon can learn Rain Dance. I'm going to teach Vaporeon Rain Dance. Because I get the sense it actually may be necessary. Um, hmm. Really like Acid Armor. But I don't think I'm going to be allowed to set up for most of this upcoming... Most of the fight... Against Leon, which is the one that concerns me the most. And I think I'm going to need Rain Dance for that fight specifically. Right, let's keep looking here. Definitely don't need the terrain moves. Glacian doesn't already know Ice Beam? Oh no, I'm running Glaceon with... Uh, moves that are not necessarily correct. Uh, let's give Glaceon Ice Beam instead of Ice Shard because Glaceon doesn't have much in the way of physical attack. Let's see, what else can I apply here? This could be useful. A lot of dragons late game. Oh, and here's a thought. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I'm gonna change the move I have equipped with Beware. Because he's fairly fast, actually. And I don't like that if I have him equipped with the dark move. 
So I'm going to give him the iron ball, actually. Because that means he will go second, and that means payback will go off for its double damage most of the time. I think that's what I want to do there. Also, I think I'm going to swap out uh, Glaceon's Hailstone for the Wise Glasses. That's going to be a little bit more effective on him, I think. Okay, cool. Uh, back to the TMs. Let's see, what else? Um... What is Rillaboom's special attack versus physical attack here? Yeah, no. He doesn't make use of Energy Ball. Um... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I can get some use out of this. I don't have Earthquake. It's so highest horsepower is not quite as strong, but Earthquake is, it's still a good move. Uh, high horsepower is 95, 95 as opposed to 100, 100 with Earthquake. Um, I've got a couple of people who can use Dark and Knockoff is only a 65 power. So we'll go ahead and switch this out and give Rillaboom high horsepower. Hi, new viewer. How are you doing? All right. I feel like I'm pretty set up there now. Let's uh, use all my candies on Rillaboom. Get him a few extra levels before we get going. And then also, I think I'm going to throw him uh, a few rare candies too. Which I've got in here somewhere, I know. Maybe I don't have any rare candies left. Nope, guess I don't. Alright, so it's going to be normal grinding for him. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get going. Uh, we're hopping on the train. And you never stopped nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine. That's proving the drag proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Ice Pick. So I'll ring out the last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. Just get to move on, I expect the train's waiting. All right, we're traveling north. I have some more Discord messages to look at. Kind of letting them go here. <clears throat> and we're here. All right, let's do this. So route 10 uh, is another icy route. Uh, I don't really remember what's here. I'm not too worried about catching too many more Pokemon at this point. Um...
So I, I will need to do a catch here, but I don't really remember what's available, I guess. Um, whoa! I was not ready for that. Well, basically, there goes my catch for here. <laughs> I'm not really interested in the Glalie. I've already got a Glaceon. Uh, and my Flareon also knows Ice Beam. So I'm pretty... Or my Flareon. My uh, Vaporeon also knows Ice Beam. So I'm in pretty good shape when it comes to Ice types. Oh, well. I wasn't too worried about getting a catch on this route. I just kind of need to um, successfully move forward. Basically, my plot is to uh, have Rillaboom in front of the party and swap him out whenever I get into a fight so that he gets the most experience. But I'm going to pay more attention to fighting trainers than wild Pokemon while I'm out here. Which, by the way, here comes one. <clears throat> okay, has a Gardevoir. Psychic fairy type. Which means I should switch over to one of my guys that's got a dark type, which I think again is gonna be Arcanine actually. No, let's uh I forgot to mess with uh Age Slash's moves, but it's alright because he's got Iron Head there, so it'll be alright. <clears throat> It even tells you what, how effective the move is going to be. Not very effective. Stupid hail. It's a cool Pokemon. Right, that was his only Pokemon, as it turned out. <coughs> Do you heal Pokemon? Darn. All right. Onward and upward. Oh, this guy's looking for a fight. Okay. Let's throw a heal on. Could avoid him, but obviously we're not going to do that because we need the experience. What's this guy got? Has a Steelix, Rock Steel type. Lots of defense, not much attack. Uh, let's say we go ahead and put this on for a size and see how this works. Half his health, not bad. Rillaboom's going to at least be able to finish this fight, and I don't have to swap him out in the process. Or that could happen. That could roll a natural one on the high horsepower. All right. Not going to take any risks here. That could be a crit kill, so we're just going to swap out. Uh, I will swap out to Aegislash because he's got the uh, fighting move. That should be able to knock this thing out. And he's got high enough defense also to survive whatever the Steelix throws at him. Even if it's a crit. See what I'm talking about? Game will mess with you at high levels.
All right, one down, one to go. As before, we'll swap back to Rillaboom so he gets the full experience for the fight. He's a Mudsdale. So swap to Rillaboom, get him some experience. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw him a heal and see if he can just win this fight. Let's see what damage this does. Yeah, not too bad. So Real Boom can finish this fight for sure. Get the full experience for it. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm trying to grind him up. I need to get about 20 levels on him before we get to Leon at the end, so. I got a little ways to go. Reminds me, I gotta put out a... Right up to level 46 already. He's getting there pretty quick. Wood hammer. I'm not sure I want this. I will replace grass pledge with it. Glaceon also got a level up. That's good news. Your face is freaking me out, man. Throw out another heal. Good, good, good. I wanted to check items too, because uh, is the lagging tail better for the purposes of what I was thinking? Yeah, that's the one that ensures you move second, so I'll use that one instead. Uh, and then also we need to throw another potion on... Uh, Mega Slash. All right. Moving forward. All right. So we'll go over this way. Accidentally ran into the Obama Snow. That's fine. I'm not worried about the Obama Snow. Uh, it's actually pretty high level, so... Let's swap over to Arcane Eye and just burn this thing away. This shouldn't kill me, right? I mean, it'll certainly kill the Obama Snow, but not me. Painful, yes, but also a one-shot kill. And I've got piles of potions, so I'm not super worried about it. Avoid the encounters, move on. Got another fight here. Don't know what this guy has. Let's find out. I get more nervous about battles than work says office worker Ronald. He has a Weavile. This looks like a job for Beware. But Weir actually has, like, really good defenses. He loses speed when he uses hammer arm. Not that I care. I've already got him equipped with an item that makes him go second regardless. Alright. What else does this guy have? 
a clay doll, ground psychic. So we'll switch back to Rillaboom, and he should be able to just finish this one with his ground moves. Well, you know what? This thing carries explosion. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just... This is the situation where you want to use Woodhammer. Because you don't want any chance of this thing actually getting a, mo a move off. <laughs> Do not ever want that thing to move in a fight. Because you will wind up with an explosion and a dead starter. That's what happens. Alright. Good work. Good work. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. When I battle, should I be called a battle man? No. No, you should not. No one, in fact, should ever call you a battle man under any circumstances whatsoever. Heal up. And we press on. Do I see any items over there? Do not see any items over there. We've got a fight here. <coughs> Fighting a cabbie who's probably got a Corviknight. Yep, there it is. Uh, what do I have that can deal with a Corviknight? Um, uh, Arcanine can deal with an Arcan with a Corviknight, probably. <coughs> Don't want to take too many unnecessary risks. That's going to sting. Not too bad, though. Alright, go ahead and get rid of this thing for me, if you would please, Arcanine. So long, sayonara. Arcanine's hurt, though, so I can't fight his second one with it. Okay, it's a Flygon. All right, as usual, we'll switch back to Rillaboom, get him some experience. Then I'll swap into Glaceon, and actually, should I swap into Glaceon or Vaporeon? If this thing is packing Earthquake, it could actually be a problem. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We have normal effective moves with Drumbeat. I'm just going to stick with Rillaboom here and play it safe. If I swap into Glaceon, it might be able to just knock out Glaceon with an Earthquake. So let's just not do that. Playing it safe is the rule of thumb when you're doing a Nuzlocke run. Don't take unnecessary risks. Because one mistake is dead Pokemon. Cool. Rillaboom continues to level up. We're down to about needing about 15 levels or so on him. All right. Let's throw out some more potions. Even healing those 9 HP that Rillaboom lost because, again, not taking any unnecessary risks. Got another fight over here. Let me refill my drink here. So what's this guy got? A Polipper. Water flying. Not a very strong Pokemon overall. Uh more annoying than anything, honestly. It did buff the power of water moves by making it rain. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave Rillaboom in here for this one. I think he should be able to handle it. Pulipper buffs the uh, speed of his team. Which is cool, good for him. Probably means he goes first. Nope, didn't even work because Polipper is a bad Pokemon.
And I got an appropriate amount of experience for that, too. Uh, he's sitting on a Knocked Owl. Uh, that is probably going to be more trouble for Rillaboom. So we'll let Glaceon get some experience here. And we will just uh, Ice Beam you away into Oblivion. Or you're going to Hypnosis me and be a big jerk. All right, I'll waste a turn throwing an Awakening, you butthead. Where are my Awakenings? They're over here. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Sorry about that. Good, your Tailwind is gone. Get out of my fight, please. Glaceon has amongst the highest special attack of any Pokemon. Hmm. Easy peasy. So is there an item over here or something? There actually was an item over here. Okay. Combat shard. Hey, that's money. I've got lots of money. Uh, let's go ahead and use some healing potions. I think Glaceon's the only one who got hurt, so we're good there. Pressing onward. Uh, so Sneasel there, Cup Chew. Wow, a Duraludon. I think that's pretty rare. Unfortunately, I've already done my catch here. It's a Steel Dragon. Uh, it's a very cool Pokemon, actually, but I already used my uh, catch for this route, so I don't really have the opportunity, unfortunately. But I will still knock it out for some, from, for, uh, for some experience. Oh, that's not the move I wanted to use. I wanted to use his hammer arm, not his payback. That's on me, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does, but I don't like it. In fact, um, well, the Weir's got tons of defense. It'll be fine. Oh, and it just used the same move again. Why did it do that? This thing's beefy. It's got a lot of defense. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That thing did lower his attack on that attack, so. It makes sense that it would not knock him out in one blow. But two was enough. Skyscraper Pokemon defeated. For a humongous chunk of experience, so I'm good with it. Alright, let's throw a healing potion uh, our Bewear's way. Bewear? Bewear? Whatever it is, it's healed. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, I know if I go this way, there's another item. I'm sorry, uh, that comes a little later. Uh, we do have a tent here to camp in. And there's an item of PP up. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, let's go ahead and camp. Why not? He's got a Galarian Rapidash, Galarian Mr. Mime, Galarian Farfetch, Galarian Weezing. Sensing a theme here. Uh, and then he's got a Morbico and a Phalanx. All right, let's go 
let's go ahead and uh, just do some cooking. Right. I don't know what he's making, but now it's spicy. Hi there, new viewer. Spicy bone broth curry, huh? All right, that'll be good, I think. Am I on sword or shield? Hi, young prodigy. Thanks for hopping in. I'm on shield. I'm trying to press forward toward the end at this point. Just trying to get a win uh, because I've only got 12 days now before the Pearl remake comes out, and I'm definitely also planning on nuzlocking that when it does come out. How are you doing? Which game did you play? Do I have a Tyranitar? I do not. It's a Nuzlocke run, so it's harder for me to get to pick and choose what I put on my team. Tyranitar is a very good Pokemon, but I do not have one. I want to be bitter, huh? Okay, well, let's see if it's any good. Sweet, four stars. That heals PP. It was an excellent, excellent camping. Right, press on, press on, press on. Oh, that's that's a wild Pokemon. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and swap over to Beware. Oh, Jesus. He's trying to one-hit KO me. That would have been terrible. Please just die so that you can't do that again. Oh, my God. It's going first. I forgot. If this doesn't kill this thing, I'm out of here. Okay, it did kill him. <clears throat> I see what's going on here. I really just need a Tyranitar and Gumi to complete my deck. So I'm scroll scrolling through Twitch. Oh, I see. Well, hey, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate you stopping in. I'm afraid uh, if you're looking for a trade, I am uh, not the Pokemon streamer you're looking for. But you're welcome to stick around and watch if you like. We're on Route 10. We're on our way to Winden. We are working our way through the end of the game. I'm trying to get it finished uh, so that I can be ready for Shining Pearl when it comes out. Because I'm going to blind Nuzlocke that one as well. Which will be fun. I say blind, but I've played through Pearl and Diamond both back on the original DS. Uh, and I also have a Diamond's Nuzlocke run on my YouTube channel, uh, which in which I wiped on Cyrus, which was uh, real depressing, I got to say. And I had to do a lot of grinding uh, to make that run keep happening. But I did eventually complete it. Right, Gigalith, drum beating. Because stab. So long. I guess this one didn't have sturdy. All right, real boom made it to level fifty. Good. Which means I only need about thirteen levels to go. This guy's also got a ride on. This should be no trouble for real boom at all. Boop de bop, and you're done. Setting up the randomizers are actually horrible. Is there a randomizer for shield? I've never done a randomizer uh, for shield. Or are you talking about the randomizers for diamond and pearl? Because uh, I know those exist. Uh, another guy here. Let's heal up. 
A randomizer Nuzlocke is like the ultimate, um, uh, ultimate exercise in Pokemon masochism. <laughs> What's this guy got? A cold Darmanitan. Okay. I already fought one of these when I took down Melanie. Let's, let's go ahead and swap over to Arcanine. Should be not very effective. Yeah, RK9 is fine here. He's got enough health to survive hitting him with a flare blitz. So let's go ahead and do it. So long, Darmanitan. I've never known if that's actually the correct way to pronounce that. Anyway, good job, RK9. What else does this guy have? A Phalanx, okay. We will switch back to Rillaboom for maximum effectiveness in splitting apart the experience. Okay, and then we will switch off of Rillaboom because we wish to protect him. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Age Slash, no? I really don't have a good answer for fighting types. Uh, Aegislash is immune to fighting, so that's probably the best bet. All right, and then just Sacred Sword until this fight's over. One more of those will take care of it. That's cool, Pokemon Phalanx. But uh, I don't see much use. Like, the no retreat move is cool, but you have to spend a whole turn doing it, and it doesn't really have the defenses to stand up to it, to, to taking hits like that. Okay, we'll swap back over to Rillaboom for more experience. Okay, it's another fighting type. Actually, I think I'm gonna just have Rillaboom work this fight himself. Simply because I don't think I have a good answer for him, this Pokemon. So I just think I'm Rillaboom is just going to have to handle this guy himself. It was more than half his health, so I feel pretty good about it. Superpower is going to hurt, but Rillaboom has good defense, so we're fine here. Right, so now we'll go ahead and... Finish him off with another drum beating, and we are out of this fight. I'm always concerned about the trainers. They throw some stuff at you that you don't expect. Arcanine leveled up. Rillaboom leveled up. Very good, very good. All right, time for more healing. I've got piles and piles of potions, so... Nothing I'm worried about. Piles of potions and piles of money to spend to buy more potions if I need to. So I'm in good shape there. Okay, double battle. Who's my second Pokemon right now? Vaporeon's pretty good all-purpose. I feel pretty good about it. Let's do this. Time for an interview. <laughs> What you guys got now? Heliolisk and Clink Clang. 
All right, well, suddenly Vaporeon doesn't look like as much of a good choice. Uh, Rillaboom seems fine, though. Uh, let's go ahead and high horsepower the Heliolisk. Let's see if I can get rid of this thing so it doesn't hurt Vaporeon too much. So we'll do that, and we'll also follow it up with a Brine. That thing went first, and it used Thunder. Since Vaporeon is my fucking, uh, my ace up in the hole against Leon, definitely could not afford to have him get knocked down here. That would have been bad. All right, Vaporeon can take care of Kling Clang now. And it's a Noivern. Okay, so Vaporeon's not going to take care of Kling Clang. That will be Rillaboom's job. We're going to hit it with another one of these. Vaporeon needs to Ice Beam that Noivern. Good thing Vaporeon's made of meat. Oh, why did it have to hit the Paralysis? That is extremely unfortunate. Nearly got Rillaboom. Holy cow. Yikes. I wasn't expecting a paralysis from the Kling Clang. That was really unfortunate. Rillaboom's still up, though, so we're all right. And then Ice Beam should take care of that Noivern. And indeed, it did. All right, so this turn, we will swap out. Uh, we'll swap out Rillaboom because I'm not wanting any mistakes. Last Resort's a bad move. Don't use it. I had a heart attack when I forgot about the hail. Rillaboom's at one health. But Rillaboom is not dead. Good gravy. Get out of there. In fact, you're both getting out of there. Jesus. Nuzlocks are scary, man. Nuzlocks are really scary. So much can go wrong. Just one little mistake. <sighs> Nearly cost me my starter there. <sighs> Terrifying. Okay, uh, please just kill this thing. It's got iron barbs, so that stings a little bit, but no big deal. Ah, those guys were scary. But I mean, I intentionally, like, strategized terribly for that fight. May have to avoid a loss there, but it was sending chills up my spine. No joke. All right. Healing up time. Use up our last uh, super potion. Then it's hyper potions all the way down. And also a paralyzed heal. There you go, Vaporeon. Feeling better. Very good. Pressing on. I believe Winden's over this hill. Yep. And magically, you go further north and the snow stops. Don't ask me. I didn't design it. Whew. We could do one last look over of our uh, our outfit, too, for this, I think. Seems a fair thing to do. I 
All oh, right, Winden City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Ice Pick. You should head there yourself. Yeah, sure. You do that. She's right, after all. That Pokemon weighs more than a Steelix does. Alright, let's heal up. And off we go. All right, where is the, uh, here it is. Need to do one last uh, gear upgrade before we move forward. Switch over to that. Let's look at the matching bottoms. I like those. Obviously, if we're going to pick a color, we're going to match it. The highest level in my party right now is the Beware anyway, so fighting type makes sense. time for a, it was time for an uh a uh, style update anyway all right so just gonna look around a little bit first before we run off to the stadium or we're just gonna go to the stadium i guess since that's sort of where it led us we go. This place is large. Hey, Marty's here. Hey, Marty. This is it. I really made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There might be four remaining in the semifinals, but I'm the one who's going to win through and battle the champion. Yeah, sure. Ice pick, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. It's just formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. Looks like Bede couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? I guess it is what it is. Come on, I expect we should head to the locker room. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you're ready. Oh, I wasn't sure I was ready for this yet. Uh, okay. 
Glad I healed up. Uh, do I seriously have no other options to any other... I don't have any hard candies, uh, rare candies left. Is this, uh, this just what I've got, huh? I guess this is just what I've got. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to end this video here because I need to go to the bathroom and I don't want to have to be needing to pee the entire time of doing this. So I will be, I'll be uh, bringing back the stream here in about three or four minutes. Uh, this is just how I separate videos because I always upload them to YouTube. But I will be back in a few minutes. Uh, please stick around to the stream. Uh, have a little bit of patience. Take me just two minutes or so. I'll be right back with the stream. Thanks, everybody.